In this video, let's take a brief look at the current scene regarding acne and how to get rid of acne. Generally speaking, when doctors and so-called experts can't name a specific cause for any condition like acne and can't quickly zero in on a treatment that applies to everyone, I start to get a little suspicious. Then, if they start recommending extreme measures or going into long dissertations about it using vague or big technical terms no real person can understand, to me, this is a sign that they are really as confused as everybody else. Now, I'm not saying don't go and see a doctor for your acne at all. In fact, the opposite is true. You should always consult a qualified dermatologist as your very first step in your approach to getting rid of acne. However, the fact remains that in a large number of cases, acne simply does not respond to the range of treatments offered by the medical profession. Just take a good look at the available information on both the causes and cures of acne. When you start to track logically through it all, it can be quite an eye-opener. Let me show you what I mean. Some say acne is caused by bacteria on the skin infecting already blocked pores yet antibacterial washes or even antibiotics often prove useless and it doesn't answer two simple questions. Why are the pores becoming blocked in the first place and why are you so open to infection from bacteria that everyone has on their skin? Others say that this initial blocking of the pores by overproducing oil or sweat glands is because of diet. The problem here is that for some people even drastic changes in diet can also be ineffective. Some say it's an emotional or nervous condition that causes the oil and sweat glands to overproduce or that stress is causing incomplete digestion and that is causing the overproduction of oil and on and on we go. Of course that really leaves nowhere to go because the only thing a doctor can do at this point is tell you to, well, relax or give you some mood altering drugs. Then again, I guess you could always take up yoga or maybe even retreat to a Buddhist monastery. Feeling overwhelmed yet? I hope not because there's more. We haven't even approached the subject that sits underneath all of this. Yes, hormones. Some say hormonal imbalances cause stress, or stress causes hormonal imbalances, and it's this that results in overproduction of oil and sebum on the skin, pores getting blocked resulting in infection, and off we go again. You see, this kind of circular discussion can go on forever, and the truth is the solution is somewhere in the middle of all this information. The truth is that there is no general one-size-fits-all truth or solution for your acne. The real key to you getting rid of your acne is understanding that there's a combination of factors causing it. Those factors will be individual to you. How you handle those factors must also be individual to you for any acne treatment to be effective. The only effective acne treatment programs that will get you the results you're looking for will be those that understand not only the underlying causes but the way they can vary from person to person. Go to youracnepro.com where you can compare some of the best acne treatment programs available today and help you start getting rid of your acne now.